someone asked me about chord subs. He said, tell me about all of the chord subs. So listen, I'm going to start with fives because people who ask about all the chord substitutions, 99% of the time don't actually know how to play all the fives. There's so many fives you can play. And they don't know how, how awesome you can get with just playing five chords. Like just play the five chords, man. Dude, that's all I do. That's all I do. I play the five chords. I play the five chords in a bunch of different ways. All right, here we go. Let's, let's talk about it. So um, here we go. So we got this two chord, right? And we made it a dominant chord because we can play the five of the five. That's one of the ways we can do it. Now, something else uh, my teacher told me. If you are going to play this instead of this, why not do both? You know, why not play D dominant and then play D minor? That works. Now that's really common. Like, uh, there'll never be another you, right? I'll play that in C. D dominant. Oh, sorry. Wrong place. Sorry. Here we go. D dominant to minor. Okay, so you can go D dominant to D minor. Now, when we get to G, um, we can also, anytime we have a dominant chord, we can play it as a sus chord if we want, right? So instead of playing G7, I can also play like a D minor over G before playing G. So check this out. I can go D dominant to D minor to G sus to G7. Now, if I can do G sus, that means maybe I don't have to play D minor. I can go from D7 to G sus to regular G7. Now, if I can do that, why not play If I can now if I can play D minor instead of G sus and vice versa, well then Maybe I can play A minor before I get to D7. Why not? Let's start here. A minor to D7. G sus, and then we'll play like a G7, and then C. Now, why play a normal dominant chord when we can play, I don't know, a seven flat nine? Why not play an altered chord? Right? Um, if we can do that, why not do a tritone sub? Let's talk about tritone subs for a minute, okay? The reason why a tritone sub works is because of this. Uh, or actually, let's talk about the problem that, that, uh, the problem that tritone subs addresses. Now, if we're playing G7 all day long, and this is the only dominant chord we know, it'll get a little boring, right? You got a major third, you got a flat seven, um, and you got your root. And um, man, day after day after day after day after day, I'm playing G7 as my five chord to get to C. Wouldn't it be great if there's another option? And for, the, for those of you who already know this, this is a great way to explain it to someone who doesn't know. So if you already know this stuff, here's a way that you can teach it. This is how I teach it. So we want, a, we want another option. We want more variety than G7. That's why we oftentimes look for substitutions anyway, right? It's about variety. So there's a few parts of G7 that are like the most definitive parts of the chord. And that is the one, three, and seven. And by the way, that's true for just about any chord. And I'm, I'm, I'm generalizing here, but um, it's for the sake of convenience and understanding this stuff. So the third and seven are usually the two tones other than the root that are defining the quality of the chord. The third tells you whether it's major or minor. That's the biggest har harmonic distinction we have. Is it minor or is it major? And then further describing that major chord, the seven is going to tell us whether it's dominant or major. Big difference, right? Especially in the context of a two, five, one. So wouldn't it be great? Or rather, wouldn't it be a, a useful, a convenient 
substitution, if there was another chord out there that had the same third and seven, wouldn't it be great if there was another chord out there which has the same third and seven, B and F? Well, it turns out there is. It's D flat, boom. Now, D flat, its third is F, its seven is B, which is an inversion of what the three and seven is for G, right? B is a three of G and F is the seven, but for D flat, B is a third, sorry, B is a seven and F is the third, Jesus. So um, there's your tritone sub. So now for any dominant chord I play, I have the potential, not always, but I have, I often have the option to play the tritone sub. Now that gives me so much more, so many more options, right? So now I can do, you know, my, you know, now I can do, instead of D7, I can play A flat seven. And instead of G7, I can play D flat seven or D flat seven with a flat nine or a sharp nine in that case. Um, in other words, um, I can replace a dominant chord with another dominant chord that's a tritone away. Um, yeah. So, um, and by the way, something else about the, the tritone subs, the reason why these chords are so similar is not only because of the, that tritone distance between the third and the seven, is also because of um, the fact that, and this, this is something that Barry Harris talks about as well as my first teacher told me this. I think it's like a really old school way of, of thinking about this stuff. It kind of has to do with um, a diminished chord. If I play, say, a G7 with a flat nine, you'll notice that um, the three, five, seven, nine form this diminished chord. And the diminished chord is very closely related to dominant chords. Um, because if I lower any one of the notes in this diminished chord, I will get a different dominant chord. For example, if I lower B, we got B flat seven. If I lower D, we get D flat seven. If I lower F, we get E7. And if I lower A flat, we get G7. And what about backdoor two five? Getting there. Um, so in a way, all of these chords are pretty closely related. Um, you know, G7, not too far off from B flat seven. And therein lies, according to some, I don't know if I fully agree with this, but a lot of people say that's why a backdoor two five is so nice. It's very similar to a regular, a normal two five via their dominant chords in this like diminished thing. I don't know. I, I, I kind of think it's a little bit dubious, but that's what some people say. Um, that was very Trump-esque, wasn't it? I heard from someone, someone has been saying, they've, the people have been saying this. No, but uh, I have had a few teachers who have told me that. Um, but anyway, it's kind of a Barry Harris-esque idea. But, um, okay, so now, um, back to this. Um, so, now, so now my chord change for a two five, I could do this. Now I got a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah, that's, that's a two five one right there. That's nice. Check it out. The two is a sus chord. By the way, if we can play A minor, then we can play D as a sus chord for the same reason that we can play G sus instead of D minor, right? So I can go D sus to D altered, or fuck it, A flat seven. By the way, A flat seven, same as D altered. Hey, if you're a subscriber, you can run this shit back. If I'm going too fast, you know, and you're a subscriber, you can just run, run this shit back, baby. Just watch it later, you got it. Okay. Um, and if you are not subscribed, you should subscribe, and then you can watch this later. Okay, anyway. So, big two five. Let's just keep making it more interesting. So we've got D sus, D alt, or A flat seven. Same thing, just different bass note. G sus, G alt, or D flat seven. Same thing, just different bass note. And then let's go to C. Pretty nice. Okay, so, 
D Moose, thanks so much for the resub. So that's that. Um, now we can get a little crazier. So now if we go back to this D sus, let's, let's actually make it an A minor, okay? And let's make our chord change A to D7, or rather like D alt to like G sus to G alt, right? Okay, so now with this A minor, why not play a five to that? That would be pretty cool. Let's play like an E7. Right, so like. See, people don't know their five chords. People always ask me, what are the crazy, they want to know the crazy shit. This is the crazy shit. It's the five, it's, it's on page one of Harmony, five ones. Page one is the craziest page. As it usually as it usually goes, you know. As as is as it is with most things in life, the fundamentals are the most interesting. Anyway, so now check this out. I could play this E chord. Why not play that E chord? Um, going to A minor, but instead of A minor, we go to D sus. So I go like. Fuck it, let's do that, like a... And then do the same thing for G. Play A7 over G. To get to G sus. I just wanted to say your music really helps me apply all the jazz theory I've learned in college. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Um, so there you go. Piano stuffs.